Brooke Rabatou, an Olympic climber on Team USA, shows her Instagram followers how she's still training inside her parents' home in Colorado. And for those who don't compete, things have changed as well. It's been a little bit of a challenge. Michael Ariola Jacobson is with the startup Whimper. People can use the app to plan and map out their outdoor adventures and share pics with other outdoor enthusiasts. And we knew that feed was going to start to dry up because there wasn't going to be anybody going into the mountains and posting their outings. Whimper is partnering with the American Mountain Guides Association, or AMGA, based out of Boulder. They are flooding the Whimper feed with videos from top climbing experts. To help people learn in a new way. Um, and keep their skills sharp for when they want to venture back outside again. So whether they're building a small climbing wall in their house or they're setting up a system to practice some of these anchor techniques. That are and they aren't just talking about it, they're doing it. And practice techniques with a, with a rope in front of me. And it's actually like quite helpful when you get outside. A piece of wood with a couple of eye bolts in it that I can practice the anchor systems that I'm following. Both Alex and Michael say indoor practice won't replace the outdoor fun, but the whole situation offers new opportunities. I think it's given everybody some perspective. Both Wimper and AMGA don't have an official position when it comes to outdoor climbing as we all deal with social distancing rules, but they say right now is just not a good time to be doing these high-risk activities, and they also don't want to add pressure to first responders and the hospital system as well. More information on Wimper and AMGA on KDVR.com. Erica Gonzalez, Fox 31.